In this presentation, we will be discussing randomized block designs. A randomized block design focuses on one independent variable, the treatment variable, of interest, and includes a second independent variable, the blocking variable, that is used to control for confounding or concomitant variables. Confounding variables are variables that are not being controlled by the researcher in a study. These are variables that the researcher may want to control for as confounding variables may affect the outcome being studied. When one controls for a variable in a statistical analysis, it means that the variable is included in the analysis and thus any effects that this variable may have on the outcome, or dependent variable, have been accounted for in the analysis. A blocking variable is, used, is usually a confounding variable the researcher wants to control, but it is not the outcome variable. It is an independent variable of secondary importance. The sum of squares in a completely randomized design are as follows. SST, total sum of squares, is equal to SSC, sum of squares due to the treatment, plus SSE, sum of squares due to random error. In a randomized block design, the sum of squares are SST equal to SSC plus SSR plus SSE. SSR is the blocking effect or the sum of squares due to the blocking variable. Essentially, it is the second independent variable that is of secondary importance, but we would like to control for any effects that may have on the outcome by including it in the analysis. This SSR comes out of the SSE. In other words, some error and variation in randomized design is due to or can be explained by the blocking effect. This diagram shows the partitioning of the sum of squares, which is discussed on the previous slide. A randomized block design, or any design that includes two independent variables of which one is the blocking, is shown in this slide. The main independent variable of interest is placed in the columns, and the blocking variable is placed in the rows. The cells or squares in the middle include the numerical values of the dependent variable. The formulas used to compute the sum of squares and variances are shown on this slide. And this completes our discussion of randomized block designs.